This is Steve Race in the Beatles recording studio in London, where the latest Beatle record is at this moment being built up. Not just a single performance, but a whole montage of performances. With some friends in to help the atmosphere, this is quite an occasion. Very good, thank you, John. That's fine. Thanks. I think that will do for the vocal backing very nicely. We'll get the musicians in now, Thanks. and we'll do the last step. Oh, great, great. Okay. Run back the tape, please, Richard. <laughs> There's several days' work on that tape. For perhaps the hundredth time, the engineer runs it back to the start for yet another stage in the making of an almost certain hit record. The supervisor is George Martin, the musical brain behind all the Beatles' records. There's the orchestra coming into the studio now, and you'll notice that the musicians are not rock and roll youngsters. The Beatles get on best with symphony men. The boys began by making a basic instrumental track on their own. Then they added on top of that a second track of vocal backgrounds, and they've just added a third track. Now comes the final stage. It brings in a solo vocal from John Lennon, and for the first time, the orchestra. Here then is final mixed track, take one, of a song which we offer to the whole world. All you need is love. All right, we're ready? Let's go for it then. Hands on musicians, please. Get them on. All right, here we go then. We'll send the tape. Are you ready, Richard? Just come. Okay, Jeff? Yep. All right, here we go. Okay, Richard? Here yeah. comes the tape. Watch go. it. Copy from the original package. Two, one, two. 